Hello everyone, I am about to make, uh, I just thought I'd make a video, a quick video on um, uh, authentic power, you know, with you, yes, you have heard that term uh, with, you know, people like Gary Zuckerb and I think he was the one who coined the term in the first place, I don't know who, but it's it's a beautiful term, It it I, I understand it now, I mean, I heard it about maybe five, more, you know, almost five years ago and only now I get it. I get what he meant when he said that authentic power. You know, authentic power is um it's not ego driven at all. In fact, it's it's when you remove the ego that authentic power actually stands. And 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 you know, people think the ego is some some something that you have to get rid of the the you know, the I the No, I mean, you don't have to get rid of yourself. You you know, you exist whether you get rid of it or not. You you're not going to it's not something you can actually get you know get rid of in fact there's nothing in life that you can actually get rid of um uh in fact that that just works against anything because what you resist persists so the more you try to get rid of something the more it persists in your life so what's the point um so authentic power is when you stand uh naked i mean that that's that's the best way i can put it you know you stand um in in total uh, in the in the truth, when you stand in the truth, the truth of your being, not not what other people tell you you are, what not what other people think you can do, and you know it has nothing to do with the outside. It has everything to do with you, and how you um, how far you have understood yourself, and and also become becoming aware of your own self imposed limitations, and. Um, the more you understand your limitations, the more you have you understand how you have yourself painted yourself into a corner, then only then can you actually begin to unravel the the fullness of your being. And you know everybody is magnificent. It, it, that that's just that just goes without saying that everyone is magnificent. I mean, look at the animal. Look at nature. Can you even say that, you know, one plant is better than another? Can you ever compare? Can you criticize? I mean, uh, a hibiscus flower is uh, magnificently beautiful, just as magnificently beautiful as a rose. Um, a small jasmine, white jasmine flower fragrant is just as beautiful as the uh, as an orchid. Um, you know, the list is, goes on. I mean, you cannot compare. You just can't compare. Everything is just uniquely itself and uniquely magnificent but the question is whether it um the flower is fully blooming or not you know or is it um has it fallen uh prey to insects and other things that start to you know or, or some bacteria or some uh, you know or some uh, some insect attack or something you know like that that's that's the thing is it is it fully empowered or is it uh, is it wilting you know, we we all have the capacity to be amazing. You know, we we and and there is no need for any comparison or criticism. You know, your process is uniquely your own. Uh, the question is, are you in? Are you fully conscious of that? You know, are you fully conscious of of the of the extent of your, the full extent of your being, like of your potential, and are you you know. Have you understood the, the 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 extent to which you have also limited yourself, knowingly or unknowingly? And um, I find that freedom is the key. It's the key to unlock the door to your being. It's um, as you forgive your memories, um, uh, as you start, you know, doing forgiveness work, and you forgive your memories and your thoughts, your past, basically. In other words, all your conditioning. Um, you know, as you forgive your your own limitations, uh, you start to understand that uh, you 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 begin to depersonalize uh, any grievances. You know, like you start to understand that nobody nobody c could could ever intentionally hurt you. You know, even if they did, even if they directed it at you and said, "Hey, you," you know, "I I am hurting you." It's it, only a person who has been hurt themselves can ever actually hurt anyone. So they were not in their own power. Only a powerless, fearful, 
um, unconscious, ignorant person could ever hurt your being, you know, could ever hurt you, uh, but, but also can never actually tarnish your true being, your soul. Your soul, your magnificent self, remains untarnished and, and unhurt, you know, because it is always, the potential is always there. You know, the mag your magnificence is always there. It is constantly, consistently, eternally present. It's just, it's just um, momentarily, you know, when we, when we, when we personalize some, some kind of uh, thing that, that came our way, some kind of hurt, uh, when we say, oh, he hurt me, she hurt me, you know, she hurt me. But we, we don't even know, you know, if we, if we understood that first of all, it's never personal. And second of all, if he or she was in the right mind, if they were in the right minds, they would never e even, they, would, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. They, if, if they had stood in their own authentic power, there is no way that they would ever direct any kind of attack towards you. A powerful person does not hurt another being. It's impossible. A powerful person can never hurt another being. Just impossible. When you're, when you're powerful, all that you are, seek to do is to teach others and show them what they are capable of as well. That's the only thing you'd want. You'd want to empower other people in turn. You know, when you're powerful, you, you want to go out and spread the message and say, God, guys, you know, wake up. Like, you know, like you are, you are asleep. You don't even know how amazing you are. Wake up, wake up. That's all you want to do when you're powerful. There's no intention to... When you're powerful, you don't take things personally. When you're powerful, you don't attribute your uh, suffering to another person. You don't blame anybody. You start, you see, you, you know that you have the capacity to unravel your own... Uh, to understand your suffering. And uh, people often confuse pain with suffering. They say, oh, uh, you know, she, she's a victim. You know, she, she's in pain and she's a victim. You know, look at her. Why can't she just come out of it? Why can't she just snap out of it? Well, you know, it, it, your, that is again a judgment on somebody else's emotional state. And we don't know why is it that they go through that. And pain is, is quite... Um, quite a part of human experience i find you know from it, it is it is it is not something to be condemned or judged but rather you know if you see something or somebody in pain you want to uh, help them alleviate their suffering you know you're not 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 to further uh, beat them down you know that that isn't that isn't that doesn't come from a powerful authentic powerful place uh, rather that somewhere within we ourselves are victims you know, uh, as Louise Hay once said, you know, would say that we we are victims of victims, you know, and um, so no, I think pain is 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 normal. In fact, if you have pain, to to say that oh I you know I must be a victim, I, that you know that's why I am uh, feeling this pain. No, that that doesn't help it any any bit. I think when one is in pain, it is good to acknowledge that you feel the pain. Like if you're feeling a heartache or any kind of uh, any kind of pain, even bodily aches and pains, it's good to feel it fully and give it its full due and love it. You know, love that that pain because that it has come to show us something. You know, uh, pain itself is not to be rejected or hated, uh, but one can choose to. To, to, to come out of suffering. That's the option you make. You don't have to stay in pain. You can always choose a better way for yourself. I think that is empowerment. And, and not a lot of people know that they have that choice even. They were, were never told that they were worthy beings, you know, that their lives are, m m mean something, that their beings are here for a reason, that they exist to make a difference, to... to um, you know, to shine. They exist to shine, to show uh, how beautiful their uniqueness can be, you know. Ultimately, that's all we can t ever teach. I think you can only ever teach um, uh, how, how, how magnificent your own soul is. And in doing that, in standing in your own magnificence and power, you, uh, you show people that there is a better way to be. You know, you can make different choices for yourself. 
choices that are more uh, alleviating, choices that are more uplifting and joyous to your being, to your soul. So, um, so what I've been talking about is authentic power, uh, about uh, f forgiveness as a way to freedom, as a key to freedom from, from suffering, from the past. Um, I've been to also talking about how, and, and also, I, and yes, and, and, and victimhood and pain and suffering. And uh, the other thing I wanted to, uh, and of course, uniqueness. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is that judgment uh, is any judgment. Uh, is a, is just an aspect of ourselves that we haven't understood yet. So, don't hate your judgments. You know, whatever judgments you make, uh, they're there to uh, point to you uh, places within yourself that you haven't explored. And that's all it is. You know, uh, people often, you know, they're like, uh, oh my God, you know, if I have so much potential, my life doesn't seem to reflect that magnificence. If I am so great, then why does my life look crappy, you know? Um, good question. Um, I think for one, one thing is that uh, we only grow at a rate that is uh, safe for, for, for us or to at a rate that, that our, our beings can actually um, uh, assimilate the understanding, you know, that, you know, as we expand, um, when it's too quick, too soon, uh, it can be quite uh, difficult to hold that expansion. Um, it could be, you know, need not be, but it could it could be. And you expand it exactly the right, at the rate that is right for you. You know, um, people are like, but, but it's not opening up, my life is still, uh, I've been doing all the work, you know, why, why don't I see any growth yet? Um, just because maybe you're not ready, you know, why hate that? You know, and and if you can, if you can, and I always, you know, I, I say this: if you can love even one thing in your life fully, unconditionally, uh, patiently, in, infinitely, uh, if you can love one thing, then you can love everything. And I think whatever that comes up for you now, if it's a you know a bodily ache, uh, some kind of uh, disease, you know, uh, or a troubled relationship. Or, uh, you know, maybe you're not seeing the kind of success that you want, the career that you want, you know. Uh, however you define, you know, wherever you want to see progress and you're not seeing that, uh, or wherever you see some kind of uh, re resistance come up in your life. If you can love that resistance completely, you know, what resists persists. So, I mean, what you resist persists. So if you keep resisting your own resistances, if you keep resisting your own diseases, your own um, troubles and whatever problems you have in your life, the more you resist it, the less you, you understand it and the less you can love it too. And, and so, you know, love that. Love whatever it is that, that is coming up for you at the moment that you just, you know, the more tolerant we can become of whatever trouble that is that is in, present in our lives, uh, we learn tolerance, we learn patience. You know, the, the, the disease is like a child that has is coming to us and, and wants to be loved. Now, if you can love the disease and say, you know, I'm, I'm so sorry, you know, I'm so sorry, this may be something that I did, that you are here, you are present, and um, and then forgive yourself, and, you know. Uh, I love those the ho ho pono. I'm probably saying this wrong, but the ho ho pono pono words that you know, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And you know, in fact, it it is go. It does go in that order. You know, if if you do it fully, each of the store of the steps. I'm sorry. You know, first of all, I'm sorry. You know, whatever disease symptom, whatever the trouble relationship person, whatever that comes, I'm so sorry. You know. Uh, and then I also, I forgive you, actually, really, it's, you forgive yourself. Uh, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Please forgive me, and then you show love. I love you, and once you show love, then it just, go, it releases, you know. And then it's just, thank you, then when it's released, then there is an expansion that comes with the release, and then there's gratitude for that. For the lesson that was that that it brought to you, you know. So whatever disease you have, whatever 
uh, resistances, troubles you have in your life. You know, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I thank you. Thank you. And that all. And fully do that. Each of the steps. And that's the key to oh, the key to the abundance that life has to offer and the magnificence of your own self.